Oh boy, we're starting uh, the game client for the first time post expansion. Let's see how does it look. Oh, okay, this is the nerves. Archer's Gambit uh, increased magic costs. We already know about Dawnbreaker, Trench's Shrine um, nerfed as well. Okay, yeah, so Dawnbreaker is still playable. Disciple of Namira, maybe, maybe still playable. Um, cast into time, basically unplayable. And also Hex Mage, completely kaput. And <laughs> now you have to play four cards in order to draw a single card from um, Shrine of Namira. Well, that pretty much sums it up. Let's go ahead and um, refund. Ooh, ooh, we got some a lot of soul gems. <laughs> okay, we're good. Let's head over to the shop. And uh, let's buy off the pre-made decks. Because that will help us in... Um, well, in uh, reducing the chance of... Um, actually, we, we won't be uh, opening any duplicates. If you got unique legendary so uh, because of the duplicate um, rule that they added into the game so let's see what this one does a uh, pretty decent amount of cards good cards bad cards already owned cards uh, but we get one legendary hmm. playable at least this one is pretty good. So let's uh let's buy this off. For five hundred gold, we have enough gold. Yeah, we can uh, we can get some uh, some decent packs. Expunge. Okay, that's one down. One to go. And the next one... This one feels like... This is actually a monk deck. With pilfering mechanics. And I think also consume mechanics. But we'll have to see if... Uh, Dancing monk is still a thing. So buying this as well. So... We have like um, 1400 gold uh, which we can use to buy some more packs and combine those with uh, the 60 packs but I'll also be testing out old meta. Okay so after testing the waters of the new expansion post deployment um, Rage Gilsorn and also Salmon Scout <laughs> so don't worry guys, the old meta is very much powerful, and I've encountered a lot of new stuff, like consume stuff, turn 4, 11-11, and um, just silence, <laughs> silence and rage, <laughs> and cast into time of course. It was pretty fun. So let's open some packs, shall we? Okay, so I have the 60 pack code um, deployed and claimed. I have bought off uh, with the rest of my gold that I had, like packs, the rest of them. Uh, and we have I initially announced we're going to be opening 74 packs, but Looks like we will be opening 82 packs, so hopefully this won't take long, but I won't be doing the same mistake as previous expansion, in which I bulk opened them and I couldn't understand crap. <laughs> because on mobile, uh, if you bulk open, all the cards are going to be really, really, really small, and it's going to be very difficult to, to, to just scroll your 
I don't know, your assets and check them out. It was horrendous. I kind of boshed that one up. But this time, it's going to be fun. So let's see what cards we have. Uh, this is the uh, two premium legendary cards. Let's open these. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh! Uraxiathon! Steal enemy creature or support. Your opponent steals it back. Last gasp. How about it's cool? If you make it invincible, like, put some wards on it. Uh, of course, it's not immune to, like, um, heart removals. Um, so, it's a pretty decent con. Although, it costs 9, so it works as a um, Mirac. Um, but when it dies, um, your opponent gets back the card you stole. So if it's a charger, then you could be dead. I don't know. It, will, it, it remains to be seen. Let's open the other one. Vassari. Hi, Elf. Fill this lane with 1-1 one, one skeletons. Vassari has plus one. For each friendly spirit and skeleton, for a five cost, uh, this could work into a um, a skeleton sorcerer. This could be a very good card in that specific setup. But given the fact that it's high elf, uh, it's not gonna get buffed by the skeleton champion. But it will get buffed nonetheless from every other skeleton spirit uh, on the board. So, debatable. Uh, we'll have to build some decks around it and see how it feels. Let's see what we have here. And it is Dromaltha Reaper. Uh, consume a creature. When a creature leaves your discard pile, Dromaltha Reaper gains. Uh, plus zero, plus one, and you gain one health. Uh, and it's a two cost, three, two. It's a good two cost, actually. And for every creature, whenever a creature leaves your discard pile, so this uh, should work, this has to be used in a consume deck. Uh, so you s just consume, 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 and hope this guy does not get removed and it'll get buffed, but it will only get buffed uh, in HP. Mm, but if you could, if you can put a guard on it, then uh, uh, the things change, meaning that you can shut down an entire lane. Imagine 10 HP guard. It's uh, pretty much unbeatable. And it, it, it has like three attacks, so it can't die to execute, which is good. Let's start opening the stuff. I have to cycle to 70, uh, 79 cards. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Fig Illusionist. Walk someone a copy in the other lane. Oh, that's that's nice. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Fallen Dragon. Oh, Fallen Dragon is actually, even though it's a hashtag bad card, you can actually use it with High Rodgar. Or a ring of imaginary might, and you can like um, uh, push for 24 damage in one swift uh, strike. Uh, somebody said that. Um, yeah, let's move on. A Muntash Guardian. Fear Totem. Fear Totem can actually work uh, uh, pretty well in a uh, prophecy. <laughs> battle mage because you want summon a creature and it and reduce its cost by three now you can unsummon your own stuff and you can uh, just uh, play or oh, maybe in a wisp mother Ooh, we're gonna bring back wisp mother <laughs> cartel bruiser mm, crocodile brute mm. oh smash and grab uh, just noticed noticed it in a pilfer deck so we could be building some monks and see how a monk behaves nowadays. Um, given my, um, how should I say, um, my testing of the field post-expansion with some of the uh, old-school Alliance War decks, um, pretty inclined to see that the old meta is uh, it's too good right now. I mean, 
there'll have to be some, uh, I don't know, imaginative response, some uh, ingenuity to, cr to craft some decks. I've seen such a deck, I believe it was TDC Jason's um, consuming um, Sorcerer. Let's go through these fast because we have a lot of them. Okay, nothing here. Oh, this is a card that I <laughs> revealed. And we have... Uh, oh, this one is pretty good in a consumed deck. Midnight Trespasser. Come on. 75 left. Ooh, Mausoleum Dweller. Charge, peel first, steal a card from your opponent's discard pile to yours. Um, so you can steal stuff from the discard pile and then consume them. Interesting. Prophecy arise. Summon in one, one risen dead with God in each lane. Okay. Uh, ward. When Brood Breton is consumed, give the consuming creature plus one, plus one, and ward. What? For a five cost, four, four ward is pretty decent. And giving plus one, plus one, and ward to uh, the creature that consumes it. Um... Oh, this is one is also good. So, I bootlegger uh, might very well work in some uh, lull or or monk decks, maybe even archers. My voice and ears are still damaged from the disturbed concert, so please excuse me. Um, what we have. Silence a creature or plus two plus two. That, this is good for a, uh, a three cost. Uh, Wheel that does one damage. This is actually better uh, than that. Um, what's it called? Staff of whatever. It's a five cost and plus one plus one and deals one damage. This is one is a lot mu much better than than than, the, than that one. Let's move on. Let's see what other legendaries can we get. Ooh, expunge. Expunge is great. Expunge. You you put expunge with that uh, wounded dragon and um, and uh, what's it called? The uh, ring of imaginary might. And there you have it. You like have uh, uh, twenty four damage, but it takes two turns to set up. So, low battery. Hey, low battery. <laughs> Shackle an enemy creature, someone on 1-1 one, one skeleton. Ah, great grasp. Yeah. Uh, Moongate. Moongate is actually good. Give both wax and wane effects this turn. Pretty cool. More wounded dragons. I believe we already have three. Uh, Seeker of the Black Arts. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Okay, yeah, this one is good for a, uh, the consuming uh, sorcerer. Uh, consume a creature, give all creatures in your hand a deck with the same name. Uh, maybe this can work in perhaps greedy decks. Um, or in Crusaders. No, no, it's kind of a tempo breaker. Mm, we'll have to see what it can do. Ooh, a ruined shambler. Now this is this works with the uh, previous card that we just uh, spoke of. Discard the top three ca uh, cards of your deck. Discard the top three cards of your deck, then consume all creatures that enter your discard pile this turn. So if you play that uh, and you play the other and you play this one, um, you can basically get it to like eleven, eleven in turn four. Oh, yeah. That's what I saw in screenshots in there. <laughs> and people claiming, oh my god, I can't believe and I don't know how the hell did I pull, it off, to pull this off. Well, uh, two of those, uh, and they have Pilfer to discard the top three cards of your deck. And you put this baby on and you discard um, three, three more. And with this, you just lay it down, discard three more, and then you get like nine. So you get it to ten. So I think the screenshot... Uh, was missing something, maybe some other creatures. Uh, oh, maybe a trade. So if you you trade your own creatures, uh, play as mid-range early on, and uh, 
right before you summon this one, you, you kind of trade your creatures and send them to the graveyard. Uh, this dude consumes him. <laughs> so Ruin Chamber, it's going to be pretty sweet. Imbued Khajiit. Uh, imbued cards are also good for consuming. Imbued Agonian. God, when Imbued Agonian is consumed, give the consuming creature... Oh, so if you manage to consume this guy <laughs> with Rune Chambler, you get an additional plus one, plus one, and guard. Yeah, this might be it, because I've seen um, that the Rune Chambler had guard 11-11, so maybe one of the Imbued Agonians was consumed, most likely. Another Moon uh, Gate. Uh, no. Come on. Bone armor. Oh, look. Imbued Bosma. Arise. Man. Come on. Come on. We have to find something decent. Nope. Apex Predator. Ooh. Ooh, boy, look at that. And it's a um, premium card as well. When Apex Predator moves, deal two damage to your opponent, and you gain two health. At the end of your turn, if there are no enemy creatures in this lane, move Apex Predator. Uh, so this could very well work in a uh, Dancing Monk with move and all the move creatures that you can uh, think of. Um, that's... Uh, that's Grand Ball, that's uh, Dune Stalker, that's uh, I don't know, all the moving creatures and all the actions that move. Dash. Yeah, Dash, we should include that. We had Dash in our Archer. Pouncing uh, Sunshine, Guard, Wax, Plus uh, Wayne Charge. For 7 cost. The only immediate board effect it can have on the Wayne with charge, but it will deal four damage. It could be good for lethal, but there are other creatures, strength creatures, uh, that cost uh, like eight and have immediate value, like that uh, uh, Swiftwing Dragon, I believe, a charge plus five, uh, charge five five, uh, and costs eight. So I don't know. So devouring flame, deal, uh, blah, blah, blah. deal two damage to a creature. If this would kill it instead, banish it. Okay, more banishing mechanics. Nothing here. And nothing here. Nope, nothing here. I got some premium crocodiles. <laughs> Come on, what we have? Oh, Bone Weaver. Bone Weaver. Guard, summon, consume a creature. Draw a creature with the same name from your discard pile. So, uh, Bone Weaver actually works if you already have like two copies of your uh, of your card uh, you want to consume in the discard pile. Uh, you consume one of them and the other. You draw it. You draw it, but you don't summon it. I don't know. If your opponent uh, is playing control and actually knows what you've just drawn, so uh, he can play if it's a very high cost. But I seriously doubt somebody plays two copies of uh, of um, aspects of a scene. Can basically just lay down a uh, Hell of Death Priest and goodbye. <laughs> More stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Show me something good. Something good. Uh, nothing yet. Ooh, look at that unique legendary. Ah, uh, Calgronteed. God summon summon the Halls of Colossus. And Halls of Colossus activate. It's actually a support. Summon a non-unique dragon of your choice from 
your deck. Holy Jesus. <laughs> uh, this asks for some of the new dragon stuff. Maybe I'll play some more dragon Lalu. Um, or even dragon... Uh, Dragon Red Run. I don't know. It's a very good card. Even though it costs 12, it has like an immediate board effect, and you can basically just summon an additional dragon. So a non a non-unique dragon. That means it can be legendary, but non-unique. <laughs> oh boy. This is so cool. Come on. Give me more. Okay, Mausoleum Delva steal a card. Oh, we've already seen this one. Senchege Grave Prowler. Consume a creature to gain power and health equal to the consumed creature. Oh, this one is actually good. You can uh, play this as uh, uh, in a uh, in a battle mage uh, with. Um, uh, Palace Conspirator, and you can discard stuff, and with uh, camels, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is actually pretty interesting to, to have a go with. Come on, don't want this uh, video to take forever. Not again. I guess we'll just have to get a lot of soul gems. Another fallen dragon. I think we have like five copies of this. So far. Oh boy, let's let's quickly get into it. It's like 53 packs to get through. And the bone reaver. Frazzle Alphic. Deal one damage. After you play another card, wax. Deal one damage. After you play another card, waned. Plus one. Plus. Oh, this is actually good. This is actually good. You can just ping stuff, and if you give it lethal, oh boy. <laughs> you can deal one damage every two turns and just ping stuff. And it will, will most likely be ignored because it's a something such a flimsy HP and uh, all that. Be at peace, set a creature's power to one. Wasn't there already one card such as this? Oh, it was set your uh, set a uh, set a creature's power uh, HP to one, and there was also a card set your uh, set the power and health of uh, of uh, one a creature to one. <clears throat> Nothing here. Another Rune Chambler, okay. We're making the um, Sorcerer, Consume Sorcerer Dream come true soon. So that's what we'll probably showcase tomorrow. A Consuming Sorcerer. Yep. Skeletal Mage, summon a creature deal damage equal to its power to a creature. Okay, it could work in there. Uh... Oh, imagine doing this with Bog Lodge. <laughs> you consume, you deal 9 damage. Could be pretty insane. Too bad we can't deal damage ex uh, right here on the face. Lunas Way. Put a 3 3 Cathay Rat into your hand. Wayne, put a 4 4 Dagger up with Guard in your hand. It's a good card generator. Could work. What what colors are these? I have no clue. Love like Kadirat. I think I need to consult Legends X uh, to see what Kadirat and Daggerat uh, what what attributes they have. If they help towards unite, then <laughs> oh boy, we could play some unite as well. Okay, another mausoleum dweller. Another moon gate. Also, I think we have like four and four, five of those as well. Uh, 
Cartel Arcanist. Shackle an enemy creature. This could work as a harpy. Although it's not a prophecy. Blast Bones. Oh, Blast Bones. Charge, deal one damage to all creatures in the slain. <laughs> uh, oh, another Seeker of the Black Heart. So yeah, this is the uh, the card I was mentioning. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Combine this with Rune Chamber. You got yourself a nice uh, combo. Flame Spear Dragon. Another dragon for our dragon deck. Um... And it's not unique, so it's just legendary. So you can summon this with uh, with Halls of Colossus. Uh, when your opponent summons a creature, Flame Spirit Dragon aims at it. At the start of your turn, Flame Spirit Dragon deals one damage to the creature it's aiming at. Okay, pretty cool. So we'll just ping stuff up all the time. So we're at half of the co uh, decks that we are opening. Uh, okay, nothing here. Come on, show me the money. Imbued Breton. Oh, I've seen this. Now there's just a bunch of duplicates. Frazzle Alphic. Already seen this. Some more premium stuff. Nothing here. Like some uh, legendaries, a pretty decent amount of legendaries and strong legendary cards. Nonetheless, <laughs> Willy Kiva. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Another Moon Gate. Oh, this is actually good for a 2 cost. Tenals of it, nice stalker. At the start of your turn, consume a random creature. You don't have control over what you, you consume. So, it, probably you won't play any, um, I don't know, decks that just necro decks that bring back stuff from the dead because you will, we will want to have dead cards and you'll just consume them. Otherwise, if you don't have what to consume, what creatures, only actions and stuff, uh, then it dies. Uh, but for 2 cost, a 3-4, it's pretty good, so if you summon it on turn 2 and you have no creatures in the discard pile, then uh, you'll just be able to attack once and then you will it will die. <laughs> Come on. Open Sesame. Shrewd Strategist. Still have mixed opinions on this card. Could work well in, uh, I don't know, maybe in token decks. Moontosh Guardian. This is also cool. For three cost. Or was it in four cost? Whatever. Jesus, so many wounded dragons. Like, the game is literally telling me. Play moon dragons, play moon dragons. Expunge, another expunge, that's good. That is good. Okay. Not here. Blackworm Neophyte. Consume a creature, someone in 1-1 one, one skeleton with its keywords. 1-1 one, one skeleton with its keywords. Okay. Just say one one. Another fallen dragon. Oh boy. I think we have like seven already. Come on. And nope. So what have you guys been up to? What decks do you want me to showcase? Because we're gonna have a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of cards to play around with. So um, feel free to comment below and let me know. What are you guys running? What has been successful to you? And actually, you can let me know what has been unsuccessful. Also, do please tell. 
does this expansion feel like the rise, uh, the comeback of the monk class? Yes or no? I expect your answers because uh, I will try to build some monks here and there. Most likely a dancing monk, but... I want to hear from you guys if you think monk is back or it's still dead. <laughs> Um, because all the other cars that were introduced, guess what? They're gonna be used in the tricolors as well. So, is Monk viable? Yes or no? <laughs> A tough question. Uh, Alpha Chondra, oh, this is good. This is gonna work well in uh, in mid battle mage and, uh, and Dagoth and mid Dagoth. So, uh, six cost guard, consume a creature to summon a flame Atronach. If you can summon Atronach instead, summon a storm Atronach. Mm, yep, yep, yep. Feels good. Thank you. Thank you, dear pack. So far, we haven't seen a godlike pack at all. I mean, since I'm playing the game, I'm opening packs, I haven't seen a godlike pack. A godlike pack usually means that you have some legendary, um, one or two, <laughs> or some, um, uh, some um, epic like the rest of them <laughs> and that's basically a god pack no god another fallen dragon oh come on these packs are mocking me <laughs> you know when i actually opened them in bulk um last expansion i actually had uh received like the best uh, tricolor, like four of the best, or three of the best tricolor legendaries. I almost had them all. <laughs> but now. Well, we can't argue because uh, CVH <clears throat> and the guys at Bethesda and Spark Events have been amazing in uh, sending me. Uh, a card to reveal, so we did have a card to reveal, and they also sent us a 60 pack. Um, initially, I thought maybe I could give it to you, but if I would have done that, no offense, um, I would have no material from the new expansion to build decks. And who wants to see videos of old decks uh, when new cards are up and running? So don't worry, if I get another pack or another um, thing, maybe via Legend Highlights, if I pull something off interesting and I get another good place, uh, maybe. Maybe if I get something more, then I'll definitely give that to you guys. Unfortunately, um, I don't have any more like small packs to give away because um, I used to have them via the uh, tournament uh, that was running on um, the Electronic Sports League. But like, uh, since a year ago or so, maybe more, uh, the tournament stuff from uh, the Electronic Sports League uh, platform regarding to the Elder Scrolls Legends actually went away. It was shut down and we didn't see it anymore. Uh, I, I I had won like a lot of packs, a lot of packs and codes that I gave it to you guys for uh, the duration of six months. So six months non-stop every week I gave packs away to subscribers. Some of you guys who are still here can remember and can confirm. Uh, oh, we have like uh, that that imbued Minotaur that is actually very good. You can play it in like a warrior deck. There it is again, imbued Minotaur. So uh, when imbued Minotaur is consumed, gives the consuming creature plus one, plus one, and breakthrough, and it's also amazingly good for 3 cost, 5 damage and 2 HP. It's basically like an upgraded catapult. <laughs> Another Moongate. 
Oh boy. Very curious to see how many soldiers will we get. Not a fallen dragon. Come on, mate. Come on. I think we have like 10 of those already. I'll fake illusionists. Uh, yeah, we've seen this again uh, before. Another low battery. I think, uh, I think this video has been lasting for too long. Okay, four more packs. Come on, come on, come on. Monastic Champion. Breakthrough Pilfer Summon 3 3 Cathary Rand. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting to see. Come on. There has to be one more legendary monk here somewhere. Among these two packs. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me a god pack. Nope. Denied. <laughs> I've got another blast bolt though. And the final pack is more moon gates. <laughs> Screw your game. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so we got our stuff. We got a lot of stuff. How many cards did we unlock? 81. 81 cards. 81 cards. We already have like 4,000 gems. And let's quickly take a look. And we're gonna go through the expansion. That is... Where is it? Come on, Isles. Moons of Elsewhere. Okay. So, we don't have any Rim and Siege weapons. Mulamnir will have to craft. Uh, <laughs> Premium Vassery. Uh, glacial Dragon. We don't have Glacial Dragon, so we'll craft that as well. Ten Skeletal Mages. Holy moly. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't have Cygnus Standard Bearer. And uh, no Queen's Captain. I'm missing a lot of cards. Apex Predator, just one copy, and it's, uh, and it's premium. Rebellion General, this is pretty good. Devious Bandit. Razumdar will definitely have to, to to craft this one. Razumdar is kind of uh, kind of great. Wow, two <laughs> two premiums arise and nine copies normal. Jesus, fallen dragon. How many fallen dragons? What one premium copy and seventeen fallen dragons? Seventeen. <sighs> More gems. And 14 best mercenary. 17 fallen dragons. Like, the drop rate of fallen dragon needs to go down. Like, come on. <laughs> reanimate, reanimate. Summon a creature from your discard pile. A, a mini marker that, that triggers your own stuff. Mani marker, sorry. Okay, we don't have normal Urexathon. Uh, no Cadwall, Soul Shriver, Cadwall Betray. This is actually a terrible card. Cadwall the Betrayer can attack you. Okay, so you can attack yourself with that one. And this you can basically buff whenever a rune is broken. But just imagine. It has like... It can die to, to so many cards that deal just one damage. The ping. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's the worst. <laughs> That's the worst card right there. Ill Fated Scholar. Maybe it's good in some memes, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Ill Fated Scholar. And that's it. Okay, let's uh let's Oh my god. Four thousand gems. I'll take those. I will take those. Okay, so let's see how our collection looks like. Head over to profile. Uh, da, 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 da. Core, Dark Brotherhood, Skyrim, Clockwork City, Houses of Morrowind, Isle of Madness, Alliance War, and Moons of Elsewhere. Wow, so out of 82 packs, we have a complete collection of common, rare, and epic cards. And only half of all the legendaries. I'd say pretty good. 
Because, oh, anyway, the legendaries, you probably want to use like one, two copies of each, not three. Uh, especially those greedy ones, if they are some. Um, so, yeah, all in all, thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much for bearing with me uh, this whole time. And um, I'll see you guys with new, fresh, juicy, juicy content. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.